Wow. One on a car guy. One on a car guy dot com. Looking up in my Google Glass, the split screen right there kind of messed me up. Got Breeder with me. Man, it started raining like crazy, and I got this stuff just all yanked in here as fast as I could. It's actually cleaner than it looks. I've been working a while on this here place, getting it cleaned up, getting it in shape, both places actually. And right now I've got it to a point where I'm needing some stuff, some move evasion. Move evasion? Got a cigar. I'm going for a walk. Actually, this cigar, cigar, I got from um, a connection of Brian Glenn. Uh, Brian's Cigar Obsession on um, YouTube there. To check his channel out for sure. And I've got no cutter. So we're getting the hillbilly tip on this thing. Actually, I like the better sometimes. Makes it a nicer chew end, if you will. Now, this is a Connecticut, a uh, breeder she wanted to go with. I'm going for a walk, a long walk. Going to record my walk. Don't have no help. And so in not having help, this is a movevation, meaning a U-Haul. I don't have a ride. So I have to actually walk up and get this thing which is fine i'm not scared of a walk as a matter of fact that's one of the things i love about netherlands is the fact that you can walk everywhere i'm to a spot now what in the hell How's it going? Oh shit. Oh, I didn't want to tear it if it was on there. Okay. got my cigar here. The Connecticut is from somebody I met through Brian Glenn, Cigar Obsession. If you know him or if you don't, you should subscribe on YouTube. Great channel. I don't go to this place no more. They don't like me. And I don't like them. Well, actually, they like me. There's no reason for them not to, except that I don't come here no more. So they kind of give me the evil stare. Why don't I come here no more? Because they wouldn't try putting my live wire in there. You don't want to put live wire in, you don't even want to try. And I come here every day and buy things. But a buduck you. That's all there is to say about it. <clears throat> Lakeside is still kind of a small town for sure. A small big town. You're just right connected to San Diego. Used to be you were a half hour, 45 minutes away from anything in San Diego. Nowadays it's not so. Look, we've even got hoodlums over there in Lakeside. Now, it's a task bringing Breeder because Breeder doesn't get to walk on the ground. Now, I know that sounds like weird, but she does in the house, she does in the yard. Sometimes around the yard, but she's an inside dog. You know, she, I don't care if it's embarrassing or not. The dog sleeps in my bed, don't you, baby? She's a good girl. She doesn't have accidents, etc., etc. She's a good dog, but I don't want her running around outside, tracking in what everybody spit on the ground. It's the Ups man. Actually, it was the Ups woman. So I gotta carry her, just because of what we got going here.
How's the cigar? It's okay. It's a Nomad, Connecticut. Nothing special. Just kind of why I picked it for this trip. Just kind of walking somewhere. Didn't want to get anything with too much value on it. I guess just say. I like the branding, I like the label. I like all that stuff. I guess they know me. The guy that runs it's kind of a douche. He was a, a friend on Facebook. And he got all butthurt over something I said about suicide shouldn't be glorified like it was with Robin Williams. Although the media was glorifying it, like, oh, he's in a better place now. And then the, the genie came out and they made the genie from Aladdin say stuff like that. That's just bullshit. Sorry. It's bullshit. Well, he got all ass hurt. Left some comment. Unfriended me. So I blocked his selfie taken little pompous ass. But, I still smoke the cigars he sent me. I'll probably give the rest of them away because, really, this thing ain't even worth it. It's a cigar. That's about all I can say. I could have stopped and got a pack of zigzags. It's smooth. It's nice. It's got a little flavor. I'm not the kind of guy that can tell you what that picnic basket of flavor is, but it's flavor. Need a good cheap cigar. It's definitely a good cheap cigar. Okay. Yeah, what do you do? I'm just the kind of guy that when you see something like this, you can't walk by it. I don't know if it's a, I think it's a 280. Could be a 250. Yeah, 280 SEL. Missing some trim, missing some door handles. Nice interior. That's a cool car. If you, uh, hang on now. If you haven't added me on Instagram, add me on Instagram. I put lots of pictures up there. It's Instagram.com forward slash Cereal Marshmallows. Why make a video like this? I don't know. I said that I'm gonna be making some more videos like this. And like I said in my previous videos, I'm being evicted. Not because I didn't pay rent. I pay my rent ahead of time. I'm being evicted because they're changing the place. It's not gonna be what it was anymore. It's going to be something else. Kind of like that used to be a Taco Bell. And you know what? About a week after I tried my first shredded chicken and burrito there, and went, wow, that's a pretty good shredded chief. Shredded chief. Shredded chicken burrito. I think I'll go back and get one. Then I went back once. I was like, damn, that's a good burrito. I went back again, they were tearing it down. So, oh well. No, it wasn't that healthy anyways. The small big town. Broken shock. I don't know how much a guy can see on the screen, but he has a broken shot. Bam, bam, bam. You can see it there. It burns evenly. 
rather evenly. I hear people talking about whether they do or don't like the Connecticut wrapper, whether they like a Maduro. I tried one of them Candelo wrappers, green or whatever, I don't know what it's called. I guess I like a light to medium bodied cigar. And I got a really cool video coming out on this that you're gonna enjoy. Well, I am easy two thirds of the way there. Tell you a little bit more about this eviction deal. Have to be out by the 15th. 15th, what is it? It's the fifth? I basically, that's Samantha telling me whether or not they have the U-Hauls in stock. I want them to say no. No, they only have the F-150 pickup that says, well, if you want, we'll see. Well, okay, so I have to move. I've got everything inside that place all boxed up. I've had employee problems like crazy about a year ago, eight months, to where in the year previous to that, everything from drug addicts to friends that had personal health problems and different things, different people. But basically, end of the story, end of the line is, it's all on me. And whenever there's nobody else around, once again, it's all on me. Not really a problem. It's just the way it goes. I've done it before. And if I live long enough, I'm sure I'll do it again. Other than that, making a video. And I'm gonna be making a video of this moving process. And people ask, well, why don't you have more car reviews? Well, this is why right here. I'm walking to go pick up a U-Haul. It's not a big deal. By the time it's said and done, it's an hour. Round trip here, 45 minutes. And I'll end up How's it going? I'll end up stinking. Turned around and could have done other stuff and been cleaning up trash or whatever, taking videos. It's just not what I'm able to do right now in any way close to full time. I wouldn't have wore my sweater. I knew it was gonna be so damn warm. Okay, let's see what she said now. Hey. They only have a phone chicken that says he will help you what you want. So whatever that means. My dog is slobbering. As if it's some kind of hard cash for her here. simple pickup. I believe that's what it is. I'm almost positive. 
if that's the case, it really is not gonna work. And I just wasted this time, which will prove my point that this is just, it's, it's not a way to do business. I can't continue to do business like this. I'm wasting my day away. Ooh, he has a other thing or maybe. That's all I need. We'll see what exactly they got right now. And I'll be done with this video. Hopefully I'll get this little truck. I'll go look at it first. Old Main Street. It's back to this Main Street, M-A-I-N-E. Or Main Avenue, maybe, I don't know. It's Main, how's that? Oh, that's plenty big. If this is what he's got and not that, this is plenty big. Well, 14 minutes, I'd say it's a third of the way gone. I guess that's about on par. More cowbell. Howdy. How's it going? My secretary called in about U-Hauls. Well, I got the pickup truck. Is the only thing available. The truck truck, the actual truck. Yeah, the F-150. When do you got some of the other stuff? Uh, Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, late Sunday maybe. What time do I come in? Uh. The, they say they're going to have it back by 1.45, and the guys... They could keep it another day, too, huh? Yeah, they could. They could not. I mean, it's 24-hour rental. They're getting it that morning, so... Uh, if you want to make a reservation, I would say you could do it for any time after... Any time after... 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock on Monday. Monday. Uh, and that's the van size there? That's the 17-footer. What is there? What's the one by oh, the building? The 17-footer, yeah. You don't, that one's not available right now. The only thing I have available right now is the pickup truck. Okay, I'm just checking because the other ones are bigger. The cutaway is not what you're talking about. It's the actual F-150 over yeah, there, it's right? the only pickup okay. truck over there. That's the only okay. one that's available. The other ones here are reserved. I keep thinking that one, I think, pickup right, truck. You right. guys. Um, okay, cool. Let me have her make a call. I might jet over to the other one real quick if there's something they yeah, have I mean, today. Yeah, I can look it up right now. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah that'd be cool. I want to get on this today. What's your phone number? My phone number is 406-642-9602. And your first name? Nathan. Nathan. Last name? Well, I mean, I just want to find out if they've got it. What are we putting in an order or? Well, I was going to reserve it for you if they, did, if they do have it. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Um, no, where, your credit card. Well, no, no, where is the other place? Where is the other place? I don't even know where I'm going yet. I gotta look it up. I don't know who has one yet. Oh, okay. I gotta okay. get past this last step. Um, it's W W R A T I S L A W. W A R T I S I S L A W. I just didn't want to cause you inconvenience. No, it's just this is what the computer makes me gotcha. do in order to find out what the next trucks are or where they're available. And you say you're set on a 17-footer? Do you care? Well, with 17 is bigger than that cutaway. That is the 17-footer. That's about right. It's got a pretty low deck to where you can roll some big toolboxes and shit in it real easy. That one has a ramp, too, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. That's exactly what I need. Okay. How big is that? I mean, how much is that? 29 dollars a day. Cool. 30 bucks a day in mileage, so... Well, a buck a mile or something? Yeah, you, you, you estimate that, you won't go over. Mm, how long do you think you need it for? A couple days. Two days? Yeah. Eight hours? Yeah. All right. You want to pick it up today? Check the new locations. Who's that one for? Uh, nobody in Lakeside has one right now. Well, that'll change it then, for sure, because I got no ride. <laughs> I walk from the Valera down there. That's not a far walk. That's a nice walk, actually. It's, a nice walk, yeah. it's not bad. Into Santee? No, I'm not doing it. <laughs> no, yeah, the, the next closest one, if you'd be looking at it, would be Santee. Santee. Like, the only one that has 
one today is alcohol on Main Street, Main, you know, Main, East Main. That is... Down by uh, Harbor Freight. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, okay. Okay, I'll do some figuring and calling on the way back, and you thank you very much, man. No problem, have a good one. You too. What a waste. A waste. It is, and that's just the way it goes. I'm thinking Breeder wants to walk here for a second. Ranchero! At least I'd be hit by a classic. One owner car guy hit by a classic Ranchero. Come on, man, it couldn't even be an El Camino. <laughs> now I'm cutting through here. That's all there is to say about it. Look at all these newer cars. Depreciation daily. I like these 300s before they changed. I like them too, the Cayennes. Well, that was about a wasted, and not about. She's slobbering like crazy. I don't get it. How can you be slobbering? You're not even walking. Well, I'm gonna shut this off here at some point. I just figured I'd Take a video of Lakeside. I've accomplished that. You ain't going, bud, it's fine. Just try and be nice and that's just what you get. Okay. The dog has got a good hand. Ooh, I think this one's hit myself in the face with a cigar now when I come up and arm so light. The Vaughn's went out of business. Wow, the name's gone even now. That all just happened like three days ago. Well, Chalk this up as the most boring of videos. But also chalk it up as to why I just can't get car reviews done lately. What a waste. I don't even know what to talk about. I had a guy I sent to go do on a walk. This is this reminds me of why I don't want to deal with employees. I asked the employee to go, he had to go walk and do this. Oh man! Oh, I can't walk. Can't you call a cab? A cab? Over a 15 minute frickin' walk? No! You could rent yourself a cab if you want and clock out and wait for it. What a joke. I don't want to manage people much anymore. Unless the person is somebody who's got a goal and wants to accomplish with me and get stuff done and hoo-ah and stuff like that. There's not a lot of that out there no more. Everybody wants like paycheck and no work. Now this is a rant video. Robertos, Robertos. Yeah, you're walking down the road talking to yourself. No Bluetooth in your ear, nothing. <laughs> Not holding the camera. Ah, yeah, buddy. Well, you know, a guy goes this far.
It becomes a matter of how do you not just keep recording? I mean, you have to. I'm almost there. Well, four minutes. That don't sound exactly good. <sighs> what a beautiful day. If I didn't have this sweater on, it'd be near perfect. No, it would be perfect. It is near perfect. There we go. Oh yeah, they got a Dollar Tree in town now. It used to be the Blockbuster video. Ooh, what a difference. God. I remember before Blockbuster video, when you went to the little brown box ones where they had the name printed out and stuck on there with a dot matrix printer. That little sticker with a butterfly that said, be kind, rewind. No, it was a bee. That's right. It had wings, that's all I seen in my head. MTS. That would have been quick too, if you knew the schedule. Still, come on, I mean, what? Including talking to the vendors? 25 minutes, it'd be like 20, 28 and a half minutes or something. Under a half hour. If I would've got it rented, it'd have been 35, 45 minutes. I'd've been a happy guy. I'm not such a happy guy right now. I had an ad on Facebook for local classifieds for help. Maybe I'll get a response there. I had a couple people respond for tomorrow, but if I could get a ride to El Cajon, I can get this thing going. What a mess. It's like 1.30, 1.45. Day is almost gone. Dog can't walk. The good girl. FedEx, right here. Wow. Imagine that. I could have just came right here. I gotta send my Sony camera back. Ooh, 36. Nice old Buick with the Continental kit on the side. I almost rented that yard back there. It's too much of a pain to access it. A bit more expensive than I wanted to spend. They opened a comic book store over there. Odd deal. You don't see comics very much anymore. That's my point. How's it going? Friendly enough people in California. You hear about how people are unfriendly in California. I find the exact opposite to be true, actually. I found more unfriendly people in Montana and Idaho than in Nevada and California. California, everybody's free to lay back, easy going. I get more people helping me when I'm broken down. Um, I was broke down at the gym the other day, the battery. I seen these two guys walk past the front of my car. I was in an Oldsmobile. They were sagging, pants were sagging. They had their little do-rags on and stuff. They said, man, that's a nice Oldsmobile. They was talking between themselves. I just kind of chuckled as I'm sitting there going, wow, wow. Man, they disappeared from sight, and I swear to God, 30 seconds later, this dude had, had the jump box almost on my battery before his friend could even ask me if I needed a little help. It was pretty neat. I gave him some live wire, hooked him up, and what's that? But, interesting deal. I'm just talking to fill up the space because 28 and a half minutes, I will at least be on my parking lot here of my place. Just a few more steps, so. I was about right on the time. I guess if I had said 
in 29 and a half minutes, I had some time to spare. <sighs> hey, he's got a Lincoln right there. Do I ever have parts for him? Well, okay, Marrow. Thanks for watching. Like I say, lots of videos coming. I gotta figure out even where I'm going. I don't know where I'm going. I wanna walk over a little too. You know, if I'd have done that a couple years ago, I could have almost definitely set it off like seven years ago. I weighed 100 pounds more. And I gave it all I could on the corner of my foot there. And it didn't would mean. I could use that trash truck, picker or whatever you want to call it. Well, text coming in. So is Nate. They have one in El Cajon. Okay. Thanks for watching. One owner car guy. Gonna get the rest of this done. Get the car out of here. And find that U-Haul before we get too far into all this stuff. Gotta find a U-Haul. Well, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you. One on our car guy. Com. Camsoup.com.